All right, we're in now part three. We're going to cover programming a part in graphic mode where we're going to draw the profile of the part. First of all, we're on the program screen. We've got a list of existing programs in memory. We start with a new program. We give it a name. Enter. Confirm the name. Having done that, we'll see the program number come at the top of the screen and we go into base data. The base data is the screen in which we will enter material thickness, uh, the type of material and the tooling information. <clears throat> As you can see, the console has prompted us to enter material thickness. We can pick the material, steel, stainless or aluminum, work with steel. Our tool options, the punch holder as discussed earlier, uh, this is a standard punch holder, we will keep that. When you touch the punch field, you will see a list of all available punches and the graphic will change according to the tool you've selected. Same with the die. We have a list of available dies. And the base as well. And a list of bases. We'll keep this base for that die. You'll notice here and we have uh, an upper limit value which we can change if we wish to reduce the stroke of the press. There's a pre-programmed speed change point based on the height of the tool. The control knows at this point where that is. Also it's identified the pinch point by virtue of the fact that we know what the material thickness is. And as mentioned earlier, we have a calculated die origin and we have actual die origin. As you can see there's about 30 thou difference between the two. That is with intolerance. Um, and uh, it's important to know that if you put, if you were to put the wrong tool combination in, for example, a much shorter punch, you see the difference in the two values changes dramatically. The machine will not let you run when you have that much of a difference. It senses that there's an error and it will not let you run. Having selected the tools and identified material, if you wish to program in graphic mode, which is the most common mode, you touch the blank screen and you get the following field. What we're doing here is we're simply inputting, we're going to draw the profile of the part by inputting flange lengths and angles. As we program the flange lengths, we can see the progression of the drawing on the left and uh, to confirm we're making the right moves. Let's start with a half inch flange at 90 degrees. It's already by default at 90 degrees. We can just hit enter. Length refers to the overall bend length of the part, let's say 48 inches. And now we're going to the next field. Let's make that a two inch flange, also at 90 degrees and of course 48 degree or 48 inch length. Just hit enter to carry on. Now, if we want to see where we're at, we just hit close and there's our part profile with the first bend. Next flange we'll make, just touch the field again to get the keyboard up, 2.5 inch flange, again at 90, 48, 0.75, Enter. And now let's just turn turn that next angle around. Make it a negative 90. Let's have a look at our part now. So we can see there's the first 90, there's a 90, and there's the other 90. The first three 90s are all positive because they're all going in the same direction. When we've changed to minus 90, you see the bend now is reversed. Here's our eight inch flange, this is where we've ended. Let's carry on, touch the field.
And a half inch flange will be our last flange. And we identify the last flange by putting zero degrees as an angle. Close. Here is our completed profile. Now, if this part were to be closed on the other two ends, we could start a new flange here. Say a two inch flange, 90 degrees. Let's say with a 20 inch length before closing a panel, just for example. Let's have a look. And now we see what the other side of the profile would look like. This is in the event we've got all four sides closed. Delete the row. And we're back to our original one-dimensional profile. Having created this profile, we can now click on the OK button, which will bring us back to the base data screen. Press the step data key. It is at this screen now that we will determine the bend sequence. I'll start this on a separate video.